Different levels just have different devils. It's all the same. And we're all playing the same game. There's a quote I saw. It was like, we're all playing the same game. We're all in the same hell. We're just dealing with different devils. And I was like, dang. I'm like, that's so true. You know, everybody has stuff going on. Everybody has challenges. Everybody has things they worry about and anxiety. What's up, everybody? Josh Wilson. We're back in the studio at the Big Dog Podcast. Got my boy Logan with me. What's going on, son? What's up? Talking today about the word levels. I've had this word level in my head lately. I saw something somebody was talking about, and it was like, you know, I'm no longer going to say, I think it was my buddy Jacob Stoller. He says, I'm no longer going to say I'm 40 years old or however old he is. He's, I'm going to say I'm at level 40. And I was like, huh, I kind of like that. I'm not, I'm not 44. I'm at level 44. And you know, it's, I'm not a gamer by any means. Can't stand video games really, but I am competitive. I like improvement. I like, you know, leveling up. And so I was like, okay, I'm not 44. I'm just on level 44. And so I started thinking about that word level. It kind of come across. And then I saw something the other day. It was referencing levels again. In, and I was like, oh, yeah, these levels, you know, sometimes when you're leveling up, people think something's been accomplished. You've done something you've you've beaten. If you, if you are a gamer, I know enough about games to know, at least when I was a kid, you know, if you leveled up, you beat the big boss. Right. And you're at this level and you get to the end of the level and there's the big bad boss with his turtle shell or whatever the hell it is. And you beat him. And now it opens up the next level because you've done well enough to, to move on and move forward. Well, the problem is it never gets easier when you level up. When you level up in life, you level up in video games, you level up in uh, sporting leagues and competitions, you know, it's not easier. If anything, it's going to be harder. You know, guys who are athletes and, you know, they're competing and they're playing high school from, you know, football from Pop Warner to middle school ball to high school ball. And they're, they're lucky enough to get into college and play football. And they're one of the elite few that have a chance to play in the NFL. Like, okay, I made it to the NFL. Yeah, you made it to the NFL. You leveled up to the NFL, but this is a whole nother ball game. Whole nother level of difficulty, whole nother level of challenges, a whole nother level of cutthroatedness. And it's like everyone, not everyone, people strive to level up and improve, but I think they confuse that when they level up, things are just going to be better at that next level or things are going to be easier. And my message today is different levels just come with different devils. And it's like, you know, the things you struggle with, with where you're at right now, if you're able to work through it, you know, survive, deal with the, the trauma, deal with the challenges, whether it's personal or business, you get through it and you're moving on. Well, there, there's going to be another set of challenges and circumstances that come up. Different levels just have different devils. It's all the same. And we're all playing the same game. There was a quote I saw. It was like, we're all playing the same game. We're all in the same hell. We're just dealing with different devils. And I was like, dang. I'm like, that's so true. You know, everybody has stuff going on. Everybody has challenges. Everybody has things they worry about and anxiety. But I feel like if you can go in with the mindset of I'm working hard, maybe you're on a, you know, you get trying to get healthy, right? And you're doing that. Or maybe it's, you're really working hard, focusing on this project at work because you're trying to get noticed and get a promotion. Um, or you just started your own business out and you're, you're in year two, you survived year one, and now you're, you're in year two and you're trying to grow and you're, you're hiring your first employees. And like, if I can just get three more employees, if I can just get five more employees, if I could just get 20 pounds off, if I could just get this deal closed, if I could just just get this project completed, if I could just bring on that client, I can get to the next level. It'll be easier. It's never easier, guys. It's never easier. And for my entrepreneur friends out there, like, don't kid yourself. You know, this junk gets easier. Um, and if you go into it thinking that it's easier, at some point, you're going to meet a devil that you can't beat. You're going to run into something. You're going to run into that roadblock. You're going to run into that champion who's against you. And you're not going to be able to beat him because you went in with the mindset that this next level is going to be easier. And it's not. It's not. I, you know, this damn business of ours, and I mean damn business of ours in the most kindest, lovingest way, 
But it is a lot, man. It, it, it is a lot. It is so much. We got so many different people, so many different things going on, so many different things that we're doing and, you know, constantly trying to better ourselves and improve. And we deal with, you know, chaos of, you know, other people out there, you know, wanting to be negative towards us and stuff. And and that's OK. Like, I expect that with the success piece that people are going to do that. I don't pay a whole lot of attention to it. I just wish that they'd pay attention to themselves. And I wish that they would they would focus on their own devils because we're all battling them. And the the thing is, the, the thing about me, it's it, this is hard. You know, this is hard. But I was talking to my team last week and I was like, man, I really think my spiritual gift is that I just won't quit. Like, I just won't quit. There's no quit in me. And so since there's no quit in me, there is no option of me losing. I mean, I'm going to fail. I'm going to stumble. I'm going to have problems, but I'm always going to fall forward. I'm always going to keep moving forward. I'm always, I was telling my team, um, we were in Texas last week for our quarterly meetings, our last quarterly meeting of the year. And I was like, guys, you know, when, when you're wore out, when you're burnt out, when you don't think you can do anymore, you just got to tell me because I'm going to throw you on my back. I just need to not have to drag you. I can carry you, but I can't drag you. If you can get on and hold on, I'll get you through your darkness. But if I got to drag you, that's going to get harder because you're slowing us down if I got to drag you. Right. So you got to at least be able to have the strength to hold on and I can carry you because I'm not going to quit. I'm not a quitter. Doesn't matter how hard it is. Doesn't matter how scary it is. Doesn't matter how bleak things look. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to keep giving that effort in. And some people mess up. So many people mess up and ultimately fail, close shop, divorce, lose relationships with their kids, friends, family, because they just stop trying. They just quit. And I just don't understand that piece. And, you know, if you just don't quit, it's all good if you don't, because that's the problem, you know, with these devils <laughs> and these distractions. They're not going to quit either, but they might quit messing with you. And what I mean by that is, you know, it, you, you think you're just on the brink of something, something good, something great for your life. And then, boom, out of nowhere, a massive expense. Car breaks down. Roof has to be replaced. Kid gets sick. You know, who knows? All right. What's going on? What 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 are you about to accomplish that the universe is trying to take away from you and get you off focus of and be distracted by, you know, that's, that's the devils out there. And the thing is, once they figure out though, that you can't be distracted, that there's no quitting you and that you just stay focused and dialed in, they're going to move on to somebody else. Doesn't mean the different devils aren't going to try to come at you again, but if, if you just don't quit, they're going to realize that and it's going to move on. That energy is going to move on to somebody else because they know they can't beat you. They can't stop you. That's my thing. I mean, these things pop up, these circumstances, these situations, these individuals. Yeah, it's frustrating in the moment, whatever. I just got to stay focused on what we're doing. I got to stay focused on me. I stay focused on my team, stay focused on my family, focused on my businesses. I don't know what everybody else is doing. I know what we're doing. And if we stay focused on that, we're fine because we're not going to be distracted from the mission. We're not going to be distracted from our goals and what we're trying to accomplish. And the more devils you have battling you, probably the more amazing what you're going to accomplish on the back end because they don't want you to have impact. Devils don't want you to have influence. Devils don't want you to make the world a better place. Devils don't want you to be a positive light. Devils don't want you to be that energy that people are drawn to. But if you don't stop being those things... They can't beat you. They can't beat you. Problem is, they just make it a little bit harder. They make it a little bit harder. They get you to have that self-doubt, and then you quit. And that's how the devils win. And when they make you quit, they move on to somebody else. And the second you get your shit back together and you try to get going again, boom, here they come. Here they come. Here come these devils. And these devils, <laughs> they are the devil. They're people in your life. They're family. They're staff. You know, they're partners. They come at you. And you got to just keep going. You got to keep going, not stop, no quit, because every level you're at is just going to have different devils, new levels, different devils. They don't go away. They don't go away. So who wants it more, you or the devils that are trying to slow you down and keep you from accomplishing your goals? Nobody wants it more than me. Nobody does. Now, what do I mean by that? Nobody wants what I see for my future, for my family, for my businesses more than me. It, what is it? That's what it is for me. It's what I see. Nobody wants it more than me. Do you want whatever it is for you in your life more than the devils want to stop you and distract you from it? And that's what you got to figure out. Because if you're flipping and one day you're on and one day you're off, one day you're excited, one day you're not, one day you're motivated, one day you're not, one day you're given everything you got, one day you can't even be bothered with it, relationships, businesses, your job, whatever. If you're back and forth, look, the devils want it more than you. Because every damn day, you got to show up and be at your best. 
And if you can't be at your best, you got to have a team that can pick up some of that slack on that day to keep you covered. Your family's got to be able to pick up that slack and keep you covered and protected so these devils don't win. But if you just don't quit because you want it more, but what is it to you? You got to define that. What is it to you? And are you just talking about it or are you really trying to be about it? There's a big ass difference. There's a big ass difference in any weakness, any lack of congruence between what you're saying and what you're doing, any let down an effort. Nope. Here come the devils. Here come the devils and they're going to shut your shit down because you're, you don't want it. You're not going to fight for it. If you want to build a business and be successful and do your own thing and, and hire people and grow and get your family to be financially independent and create opportunities for your staff and all those things, guys, here's, here's the, the hack. Don't quit and be willing to give up everything because it's going to take everything you got to do those things. So before you have this great idea about this business I'm going to start and what I'm going to do, are you willing to give up everything to do it? And I think that most of you are not. I think most of you are frustrated with stuff in life. And you're like, well, if I could, if I could do this, it would be great. I'm going to start this and do it. You don't want to do that shit. You can't be bothered currently to stay 20 minutes past the time you get off work to work on something that's important to your company. Yet you think, because you got to get to the bar with the bros, you got to go watch the game, you got to take the weekend and, and do whatever. Well, if it was for me, it would matter differently. No, it doesn't. Because if you're a person, an elite person and a person of excellence, you're giving it all all the time. So you're not willing to battle the devils that are in your current situation. There is no way in hell you're going to be able to battle the devils that show up when you're trying to do it on your own. You don't want it. You like the idea of it. You like the potential of what you could benefit from, but you don't want it. And that's why you keep showing up at work every day because you just talk about it. You ain't a be about it. And you're sissy. And that's okay, but just shut up. Stop talking about it. Nobody cares. They care about what you do, not what you say. And what you got to do if you're going to beat these devils is you got to show up every damn day. You got to be willing to lose it all. You got to be willing to give it everything to beat them. I hope you have a great day. Different levels, different devils. Stay focused, stay on, show up, keep fighting. Just don't quit. We'll catch you next time on the Big Dog Podcast. 